Hello everyone, welcome to the Narc Survivor YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a tactic that narcissists use to break you. Please give the video a thumbs up down below, hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. A tactic narcissists use to break you. There is one tactic that narcissists use to hurt you emotionally. Because your strength makes them feel weak. They're jealous of your happiness and achievements. Or they think you don't deserve what you have and they desperately want it. Because they're horrible people who hate themselves and they want you to feel the way that they do. So they use a particular tactic to break you, to hurt you emotionally. They size you up, they critically assess you, they make judgments about you, they compete with you, they give you the narcissistic stare, they try to intimidate you. They invade your space. They want to make you feel small because they view you as a threat. They see that you're not just an ordinary person and that you could cause problems or be dangerous for them because you have talents and skills. You have things that are beneficial and advantageous to you which fills them with the urge to feel jealousy and to compete with you. So then they have to prove that they're the top dog. They have to prove that they're better. They have to intimidate you. They have to criticize and insult you and treat you disrespectfully, often in a way that is under the radar, which in their minds is meant to prove that they are better. It means that they are the top dog, but they're only doing this because they view you as a threat because you have a strong presence. You look confident and comfortable. You speak clearly and persuasively and think clearly even under pressure. So your presence is always felt, which means that it's impossible for them to ignore. And because the narcissist is against you, they will try to break you because they view you as being better than them. So they will try to hurt you and put you down because you're very radiant and powerful. So they will easily notice you and then they will start to criticize you because they feel intimidated by you. They feel like they should have to submit to you because you look confident while they're feeling frightened and not confident. But then they're jealous of you because they viewed you as being better than them. So they become arrogant and resistant as though they know more or have more than you do because they want to intimidate you, but they do it in a very forceful way. It's unnatural. They force themselves onto you. They try to control you because you have a strong presence and they're intimidated by you. So then they become hyper aware of anyone who looks at you or any attention you might receive. And then they start to get jealous because you have a lot of gifts and talents. Maybe you have a business or a lot of followers on social media. You have a lot of advantages. You have a lot of things in your favor. And narcissists can see that so then they criticize you because they get intimidated. And it's why whenever you're at a crowded place, you will always feel them eyeing you up. You will feel them watching your every move because in their minds, it's unfair that you get all of this attention. So they secretly hate you and they want to irritate, annoy and upset you because they feel like you're better than them. And they think you think you're better than them. 
So then they give you the narcissistic stare and they get jealous of you, which is why they may rage at you and try to fight you. And they may have acted nice to you initially until they realized that they couldn't get what they wanted. And that's when they got mad at you because they actually envied you from the start. And it's why you need to be very careful about who you let into your life because they can cause confusion, disorder or damage. They will try to break you by criticizing you, by establishing opinions and making decisions about your character based on very little information and often based just on their initial impressions of you because they didn't even take the time to get to know you. They were just looking at what they could take from you or use you for. So then they wanted to break you because you have a strong presence. They could tell that you are special and that you have a different purpose and it irritated them because they wanted to use you for something else. They saw the value in you, but you may have been unaware of it at the time. You may not have realized what they wanted from you. You may not have been aware of the gifts and talents that you have. They saw it before you did, but they didn't want to give you any credit because they didn't want you to feel satisfied with yourself. They wanted to keep you insecure so that you'd keep trying to prove yourself to them. Which is why they probably never told you how great you are. They never told you that you're a wonderful person. They never said that you're intelligent or inspiring. People may have told you this online, but you never hear it from anyone in person. They never say anything good about you because they don't want to feel like they're less than you. So they can't give you a compliment. They can't give you any credit, no matter how much work you may have done. And even if you've achieved incredible things, they act like it's a walk in the park as though it's something that's very easy and effortless to accomplish, which is why you shouldn't care about their opinions and you shouldn't need their validation because they are the darkness and you are the light. They're operating in illegal and immoral activities, so they have hatred, hostility and jealousy. And they know that you're going to see this in them really easily, which just irritates them even more because they know they can't hide this from you, which is why they have to break you. It's why they have to make you question yourself to take the focus off of themselves, to put you down because they see your confidence. They see your abilities and skills, which is why your well-being must come first because you can't do anything unless you're in a state of being comfortable, healthy and happy. You have to take care of yourself first so that you don't let these experiences make you bitter and you don't seek to hurt other people or to take revenge. You may think about doing it and that's normal. But by taking care of yourself and by practicing self-love, it will prevent you from getting caught, caught up in that so that you don't become full of anger, hatred, bitterness and rage just like the narcissist. Because taking revenge doesn't even relieve their pain, it just makes them even more miserable. And it's because they have no love in their hearts, they can't even accept themselves. And this is why these types of people will hate on you and try to break you. They will be cruel to you because they've been cruel to themselves. So now they want to deflect their shame onto you. They want to mock and ridicule you. They want to do anything they can to affect you. Because what else can they do? They can't recharge you. They can't protect you. They couldn't even do that for themselves. So how can they do it for you? Which is why when you're around them, you will experience a lot of pain and misery. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. 
Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.